Okay, welcome to my unprofessional, unscripted video. Uh, things will go wrong, I can guarantee it, but we'll have a go. So this is about the crimpit. So I like gadgets that simplify life, speed up processes, but I don't like buying gadgets that are just gadgets for the sake of them. You know, the sort of types of thing where um, instead of cutting up vegetables, they just slightly speed it up the, the slicing of vegetables, we can just use a normal knife. That kind of stuff just doesn't do it for me. So, but I like the idea of this. Basically, a portable sandwich squasher, I suppose you can think. So you crimp these sandwiches and put them in a toaster, fry them or whatever. So this is the like unboxing bit, which will probably go horribly wrong. So um, let me just show you what the top is like. So this has got a see-through thing, sort of cut out a bit, which is a bit weird. Not quite sure why. Why would you want to look at the sandwich? It doesn't really matter, but okay, let's go with it. So that's the top bit. I'm going to get the bottom bit out, but I have to use both hands. Excuse me. Okay, so it's easier for those who are buying these to pull out the card bits first. And then the bottom bit, the base, comes out a lot easier. So what we've got here, we've got some instructions. And it tells you what to buy. So this is the only thing that you might think, oh God, you know, what's the point? You have to buy thins. Otherwise... Is pointless now i've got an idea that you might be able to slice the crusts off a piece of bread or smaller bread and use it i'm not going to test that today that's up to you guys to figure it out i'm not going to bother so here's, here's the instructions look put it thin in the base chop and grate your bits of food yeah you got you get the idea it's giving you instructions and if you don't really want to read had that come out if you don't want to read Turn it over and you've got a QR code and it takes you to a video. So I'm going to go and watch the video. See you in a second. So I've watched the video. It's very straightforward. It basically just tells you what you need to know without looking at the diagrams. If you prefer that way of doing it, that's fine. Now, here's what I did earlier. So I went up to Tesco's and I bought Warburton's Thins. And I got some meat because I like meat. And I shredded it into a pile of goo shredded some cheese so I'm pretty much ready to go with the main ingredients now I'm going to unpack the thins and I'm going to try it out so I've put some dynamite chili on the bread put it in to the base there and now I'm going to put in some of the filling fairly straightforward put it in the middle because we're doing it sort of uh, squashing in at the sides Causing any issues. This is the first one. You know what's going to happen. I probably it might be. Uh, I've overfilled that already. A little bit of cheese, not too much, because it will go gooey. And they're, they're thins. So there's a clue. There's a clue in the name. They're thins. They're not thick. So what could go possibly wrong if I overfill it? Well, yeah. Let's have a go. Smooth it around a bit. Top on. I'm doing this one-handed. I'm not sure that's a good idea. And then crimp it, squash it down. Squash it down and then I'll have a look in a second. See, so yeah, not unsurprisingly, um, as these guys have done their uh, R&D on this, I would hope, um, it's pretty much squashed the bread together for the most part. There's a little bit of a gap there. I'm not quite sure it's gonna be a problem. One thing I'm not gonna be doing is I'm gonna put it, not gonna be putting it in the toaster because I'm not gonna be very um, popular if I put it in the toaster and then it all leaks out, all the cheese and stuff leaks out in the toaster and that's gonna be a, a you know what to clear. So I'm not gonna do that. I may just crimp that a bit more to try and see if I can squash down that gap. Result. Yeah, that's pre-squashed. That's look, looking pretty good, almost textbook. Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go away, I'm gonna fry it. Okay. Here we go, it's been fried. It's looking pretty good and pretty hot. So I'll be very careful because it could be hotter than the sun. I'm gonna bite into it. So uh, you're not gonna see that because I'm not gonna let you. I'm gonna have a little bite and see what happens. Mm. Yeah, that's pretty good. Hmm. Simple, effective. Which is basically what I thought it would be. So for me, this is about going to work. We've got toasters that 
I dare I say we don't really care much about. Of course we do, but they've got slightly bigger um, slots. We can fit these in, things in. Do it carefully. Figure it out. And it would be a quick snack on the go if I'm very busy. And I don't want to go out. Quite frankly, at work at the moment, I'm probably not going to give up the nice lunches that they do in the canteens. Because they're pretty damn good and cheap. But this is a good alternative. And it might be good for holiday. So I'll say... 10 out of 10 is probably a bit much, I'd say, but I'll give it a good 9 out of 10. I mean, it's a um, simple, effective little gadget. Thank you for watching this really unofficial, ridiculously amateur video.